Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Just a quick one before I have to get going on a beautiful Saturday in Las Vegas. About a year ago, I was doing a series on kind of some unknown ruins in the South Pacific, Micronesia, Polynesia, the Mariana Islands, and talking about sites that maybe a lot of you hadn't heard about. And this is the big mystery of ancient Palau, Micronesia. That was one of my favorite ones to do. And I did this one, the strange ruins of Rapa'iti. And I really learned a lot doing these, really kind of some strange way of life and a big mystery as far as how old some of these ruins are. But today we are going down to the small island of Tinian in the Mariana Islands. And here it is right down here. You can't even see it till we get close. But right down here, there are some ancient ruins, pretty unique. I found this pretty fascinating. Let's go take a peek. Here we are down on Street View. And here are the ruins, kind of tipped over here, some of them, and some of them are still upright. But these are pretty unique. They have a name. This is called the House of Taga. And these are called Lati Stones, L-A-T-T-E, also L-A-T-T-I. But here they are, and those are pretty huge. Here we are where they have the sign here, the House of Taga. And these stones are very huge, and we're going to read about the dating of these and maybe raise a few questions. Here is a look at the stone ruins. And these were noted by people here in the 18th and 19th centuries and not sure if these all come from the same period of time. Pretty fascinating to look at and that one back there that is standing up gives you some idea how how big they are. We'll take a look at a few pics. Now this is ancient origins and let's just read a little bit here about the House of Taga. On Tinian Island, it says, The House of Taga is located near San Jose Village on the island of Tinian, United States Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. It is thought that earthquakes felled most of the stone pillars, and today only one of the original 12 latte remains vertical. Stone pillars at the House of Taga stood around 15 feet tall or 4.5 meters tall, and each one was topped with a spherical stone to dissuade scavenging rats. Here are the stone pillars. As one story goes, the house and supports were originally built by the chief Taga, who had superhuman strength. Some say he was so strong that he picked up the massive stone pillars and placed them in position by himself. So how much of this story is rooted in true facts and how much of it is mythological? That's what I ask. Now here's a map where Tinian is located pretty far out to sea. And it's not a very big island at all. And this just seems pretty megalithic for such a small place. And the dating, I haven't looked into this too much, but it's been confusing. It says, found nowhere else in the world. Latte first appeared in the Mariana Islands about 800 years ago during a period known as the Latte era of Chamorro culture. And Taga House represents the apex of this architecture. Just doing a little bit of reading on this place, some other... Websites state that these are about 3,000 years old. But do we have kind of the wrong story that's been passed down? And kind of like Easter Island, is there a deeper history to these large megalithic stones? Probably. But explorers here about two, 300 years ago reported this is what they were used for, supports for a house. But did a later culture who was living here around the time just use these ancient stones for this purpose? Was this their original purpose? That seems a little weird to me, but when they were originally constructed, they formed a row here. This is an early drawing of them. To give you some scale, here is a man standing next to one of the few that remains standing. Here is a very old pick. Some of the pillars are laying on their side and some of them still standing. Now here's the digital collections of the National World War II Museum. And of course there was some Important battles fought on Tinian during World War II. And here's a pic from the wartime era. They did find a quarry nearby, and here is one of the stones and never got taken out. Here are the smaller latte stones that remain standing. They kind of form a gate at the entrance to this place. But I looked around on YouTube to see if anybody else had covered the site. Channels that I was familiar with, and nobody had. But I just thought this was pretty interesting. These columns with the spherical stones on top, what did they represent? They were originally in a row, but pretty fascinating. Who did this and when?
any additional information that can be added to this. I know my subs always post good information, but I thought I would do this video today. It reminded me of my South Pacific series I did. A lot of fascinating stuff, different kind of ruins, a lot of unanswered questions. Hope you thought that was cool. You all have a very nice day.